Hey, hey, collective. Hey, hey, friends. How y'all doing? So, I was channeling the song earlier by The Lion King when Simba was so excited that he was going to be the next king. And he began to sing and dance. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. And remember that little bird thingy or whatever it was? It was saying, um, if this is going to be the next, uh, like, if this is what our country is going to be like next, then ship me away. Oh, oh, spill your yarn. I'm sorry. Spill your yarn, though. So, with that being said, Simba didn't care, though. You know, it didn't matter. He just kept singing. He just kept rejoicing in the fact that he was going to be the new king. And he said, everybody look left. Everybody look right. Everywhere you look, I'm standing in the spotlight. You hear me? And that's what's about to happen for you. Everywhere your haters look, you're going to be in the spotlight. You hear me? Everywhere, everywhere they look, you're going to be in the spotlight. Let's just see what this is that I was channeling. Ooh. We got Master, Balance, and Detach. We believe and succeed. So someone you you it's time to come out of isolation for one. It's time to come out of isolation. You have mastered. I'm hearing, I mean, I'm seeing it too, but intuitively, you've mastered you in some way, like two, two, two. When I said that, you when I say you've mastered you, you've mastered the balance of your emotions, the balance of your clarity. Especially the balance of your emotions. You've balanced those things. You've balanced the masculine and feminine sides of who you are. And it's time to come out of... It's time to, sorry about that, y'all. It's time to come out of, it's time to come out of hermit. That's what I'm getting when I see this detached card here. I get just a hermit energy. And it, it's time to come out of that mode. You've healed. You're able to trust now. And you're able to actually give your heart to someone. Allow a man to come in and lead you, to guide you. Because right now your sacral chakra is blocked. That's a lot that has a lot to do with your success and your growth just as well, to be honest. And your stability, your joy. So it's time to get out and you know mingle and Seek like-minded individuals. Someone's birthday could be um, in May. May 14th, May 11th. It's time to change your focus on love. It's time to change your focus on the gifts you have. It's time to change um, your focus on the, your career. Also, it's time to change your focus on your career. You know, you may be feeling burnt out. Oh, 
because you just can't wait to be king, honey. <laughs> or queen. <laughs> you just can't wait to be king or queen. We're going to put this right here. With Sean being on the top of the deck, because that's what you have done. I'm here to let you know that's what you've done. You have completely succeeded in balancing yourself, balancing the masculine and the feminine energy within you. You have completely learned to be detached, but yet connected. You understand? I hope so. I hope you're getting what I mean. I mean detached and yet connected to the outer world. To things that no longer serve you. And you've, you've, and you've mastered those things. Now it's time to allow someone to come in and lead, lead the way. I'm about to lead the way. <laughs> okay? True. Lead. Truly lead you. Somebody name could be true. Somebody um may like to say true all the time. Like that's their sl slang. Like true. Like true. Oh, that's true. You know, you know the slang true. Somebody's name could be Lee. Somebody's middle name. That's middle, last, first, Lee. Uh, it is definitely time to get out and mingle so you can, you know, I feel like you've healed. You've healed. You've, you've gone through these stages of life and you've protected your heart. You've protected the sacred things of who you are for so long that um, it's, it's just time for you to be vulnerable. It's time for you to allow somebody in. You've done the work. You sure have. You've done the spiritual work. So I just seen spiritual work. You didn't keep up a, a resistance either. You went you went within and you built your self-esteem up. You built your confidence up. You um built your throat chakra. You built your heart chakra. You built your crown chakra. There are some chakras that are off balance and it has to all do with because you're not receiving an adequate amount of love. Yeah, But that's all about to change. There's going to be someone that enters into your life that is going to commit. Sorry, love. They're going to commit to you. They're going to heal you. They're going to heal what is broken. Look at commitment still trying to peep out of there. You hear me? We're going to go on and take it out since they want to peep out. Okay, commitment. Okay, you know, your commitment to yourself is about to bring a commitment to. And look at this. Your commitment to yourself, divine timing. Your commitment to yourself, the way you've balanced out your life, like I said, your, your divine feminine, your divine masculine within you. You hear me? Energy clearing. The way you've detached from things that no longer serve you. Things that kept you misguided and hidden and things that were bad choices, things that were wrong choices, things that didn't soothe your perspective is what I'm hearing all of the work you did divine masculine divine masculine let's keep that out all of the work you did is about to bring you the partnership that you desire yeah You know, you realize that it was um is well you real you are realizing that it's time 
It's time to allow someone to step into your life. It's time to not be separated from love. Can I get one on this detach, please? Ooh, y'all, we cannot make this up. Soul searching. What I say? Let me see what's at the bottom of that. Realization. What I say? You realized that there were some things within you that you had to go deep within also and heal. And now that you've healed those things, you know, you're ready to step into this commitment of love, this commitment of security. Because you don't want to just provide, you know, uh, uh, provisionary things for the person you love. You want to be able to provide them with emotional stability and also spiritual stability. So you also went within and you soul searched. That's why you detached. Because you went within. You went within. That's why you detached. And it's time to come out of that mold though. It is definitely time to come out of this mold. Is because I'm just hearing with this master. Like I'm really hearing that you've mastered in this commitment to yourself. You've mastered this stage. It's time to allow love to come in now. That's definitely what I'm hearing. All right, let's see. seen the hermit yep what did I say the hermit you soul searching you went within you went within I can't I'm gonna have to get a bigger table for real Can I have one on this commitment, please? Oh, four swords. Yep, you ready. You definitely ready to, it's like you've reached a state in, in your life, not only on the outer realm, but like I said, within and on the spiritual realm, even with your finances. So whoever this is, like you're ready to settle down. You're ready to give someone this love and attention. I mean, it's like, it's like whatever it is, you like you just with this four swords and this king of coins here. It's like you just secure. It's like I don't I'm trying to I ain't no man. I don't know how y'all talk, okay? But it <laughs> But for real, it's like you're just secure. You're just secure. And that's what you wanted. You wanted to be able to not just give the person you love this um, physical security, you know, with the money and, like I said, provisionaries earlier, you know, whatever you want. Girl, you know I can't provide whatever you need, baby. You know, Ten of Cups is what fell out. Okay. I hear whatever you want. 
Whatever you need. I'm hearing that Tony, Tony, Tony. Whatever you want. Girl, you know I can't provide. I ain't finna be go call it. But that's what I hear, baby. Yeah. And that's what I'm sure feeling like. That's what you want, Devon Masculine. You want to give somebody. You ready to step out. You ready to build a foundation. You ready to collaborate with somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shit, I've been detached from anything for so long to protect my heart. I'm ready to balance this thing out. I've already balanced out the I've balanced out the masculine and the feminine energy within me, and that's just saying I've balanced my emotions. I balance my logic. I balance my heart and my head. You know, I see the cup as half empty and half full. That's what that means with balancing your masculine and divine feminine energy within. But at the moment, you can take it how it resonates, but I'm definitely talking to a divine masculine. Or there can be, this can be a female I'm talking to, and a divine masculine is coming in. Just as well, he's coming in to offer you this commitment. Because not only has he gone through his cycles and lessons, you've gone through your cycles and lessons too. You, you have detached. With this 11 here, I'm getting a good twin flame energy. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm getting a good twin flame energy with this 11 here. And you may have um, detached just as well. Mm -hmm. But Bible, whatever is about to come, it's about to come. Okay, and this man is definitely, this divine masculine, he definitely, and divine masculine, you definitely are ready to give someone anything they want, you know. As long as they love you and cherish you and balance your life out the way that you need it to be balanced out. Just as well, you can give them anything they want on this physical realm is what I'm hearing. But what you're looking for is someone who's able to help you on a soulful journey. This journey that is a complete um, um, leaving a legacy, not just here physically, but leaving a legacy within the spiritual realm so that... Um, your, you know, your, your star seeds is what I'm hearing. So searching. So that your star seeds, so I could be talking to a star seed. So that your star seeds can be blessed when they do decide to come on this training ground. Because that's what it is. It's a training ground. <laughs> But yeah, see what this all Holy Spirit got for me. Put this right here. But you are definitely ready to commit to someone. You could have already found this person. And this is maybe a sign and saying, yes, this is the person to commit to. Six of Wands, I seen, yeah, you could have already found this person. Everything is going to be fine. Or you are about to come in contact with someone. The Hermit, I'm trying to tell you. Maybe you've been watching this person from afar with this Page of Wands here. Maybe you've been watching this person with this. I see the lovers in the Page of Cups. Watching them on social media. Maybe that's the only way you can watch them because there might be conflict. There's the Emperor. Divine Masculine, you're here, baby. You speaking, honey. I'm trying to tell you, whoever you are thinking about, Divine Masculine. You hear me? And Emperor. I mean, you hear it. You speaking. You know what I'm saying? This is all about you. Whoever you are thinking about giving your love to, when you feel that feeling, this is your answer. She's the person. She is the person that you should commit to. 
because like I said, you've already mastered self. You already mastered self. Now it's time to go back into the world and find that love or however, or you've already got her. I don't know, but she's someone, this is your soulmate. This is someone you've always looked for. This is someone with the emperor, the divine masculine commitment. This is someone you have always wanted, desired. Like, even if you never had a face to put with it, this is, yeah, your dream come true. And you're definitely going to um, give her everything she wants, everything she needs, everything she desires. Because she fulfills you soulfully. And that's what you've always wanted. You've always wanted someone that will fulfill you soulfully. And if I'm talking to a divine feminine, whoever this man is that you're going to meet or have met, he is going to commit to you. And he's going to give you everything you want, everything you need, everything you desire. Because he loves you. I got the Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, and the Four of Swords again out here. I am not lying. The Emperor of the Hierophant. This man is going to marry you. This man is going to marry you. The Four of Swords is out here again. And he's going to feel like his commitment to you is something that he has earned. Something that he has secured. And like I said, not just a legacy here on earth, but a spiritual legacy so that his star seeds, when they come here, they can live a fruitful life on this training ground. So whoever I'm speaking with, once again, is a star seed. Let's see if there's any final messages. Holy Spirit, are there any final messages? Look at this Kipper. Mm -hmm. Y'all mean, yeah, I don't need to clarify nothing. This man definitely going to um, uh, marry you. You know, and this took a while for you to, for it to come in for you. I understand, you know, but there is definitely a man thinking about a a mature woman and being mature does not mean that you have to be even it doesn't matter you're mature you're mature in age you're mature in your wisdom you're mature in your knowledge you're mature in your emotions you're a mature woman and this man is ready to take this journey with you Lovers. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Alright, this is the message. <laughs>